It often seemed like redeeming your frequent flyer miles was more trouble than they were worth, but now that has all changed. Here to explain why is travel guru Peter Greenberg. Peter, good morning. Good morning, Harry. I, uh, really, there have been times when I have tried to cash in miles. Oh, sure. But they, well, there's no seats on that one, or that uh, they put a seat available, or just so difficult. See, the good news is you can earn miles for everything short of dying, right? <laughs> The problem is you die trying to redeem them. That's a good line, very good and line. And the reason for that is the airlines never want to displace revenue passengers mm -hmm. with giving away an award. But right. guess what? Because of high fuel prices, the economy, the airlines have been cutting capacity, parking planes, cutting flights. The passenger numbers have dropped even further. So there's a gap between the demand mm -hmm. and the available seats. So for the first time ever, and in my recent memory, for the right. next three weeks, there's a limited window for you to be able to redeem those miles because the airlines have them. So now is the time now between now and the end of the summer? Yeah, right now. But yeah. not, not just for the end of the summer. Now for the rest of the year, but do it before the end of the oh, summer. Oh, okay. What, now, why? So this window is open now. Yeah. What, what, how is it, how do we take advantage of this? Well, first of all, you have to understand that the airlines are doing something they've never done before. When was the last time you heard of an airline eliminating a fee, right? United Airlines just eliminated a fee that was up to $100 just to redeem miles within six days right. or redeem miles within 20 days. They redeemed, they basically got rid of that fee so that you can right. actually redeem the miles. Man. American Airlines is letting you redeem miles for even a one-way ticket. You can actually do a nice. one-way deal. Not yes. bad, yes. okay? Uh, JetBlue has eliminated all the blackout dates. That's incredible. Okay. And some of the other programs like American Express, they're offering double miles. But mm -hmm. remember, every airline is offering miles for even getting LASIK surgery. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you still have to be able to see your way clear. Get it? Yeah. See your way clear Got to it. redeem the miles. And now, so how long, does, how long is this window going to stay open in theory? Probably until maybe February or March, but in terms of the redemption. But you've got to do it within the next three weeks because as the demand starts to come up and right. intersects the, the, the capacity cuts. The business traveler starts over. getting on the road again it's and everything over. else. And especially these rumblings that the economy may be improving right. or at least hit, hit, scratching along the bottom. Uh, so give me some other advice here about uh, Here's what you need alternate to do. airports. Right. You don't necessarily have to book Los Angeles. Book Burbank. Book Ontario. Book Long Beach. Uh, Oakland instead of San Francisco. Providence instead of Boston. Uh, book alternate routes. Believe it or not, I have friends of mine who wanted to go from Los Angeles to Hawaii. They were able to redeem their miles. It's going to sound silly. They went Los Angeles, Salt Lake, Honolulu, but they got the tickets. Wow, that's really good. That's really smart. Yeah. I mean, what, what do you add? Like two hours? Right. And you're going to be, oh, that's terrific. Yeah. And uh, so these alternate routes are good. What other good things are out there? That you can, can book up advantage? to 330 days away. So don't necessarily book on your primary carrier. Book on their mileage partner. Right. Meaning on the One World Alliance you've got with American, you've got British Airways and Qantas, et cetera, with United, you got SAS, Thai, Lufthansa. You do that route as well because it gives you much more options. There you go. Let me ask you a, a yeah. question that's a little off the subject. Go ahead. You heard about this plane that was going from Texas to Minneapolis, gets diverted to Rochester. Right. They kept the people on the plane all night long. They're getting triple miles. <laughs> no. <laughs> they may, in fact, be getting triple miles. Just kidding. But if you were on that plane, what would you have done? You know what I do? Mm -hmm. And the airlines hate this when I say it. Declare I'm sick. Yeah. Because they got to get the people off the plane at that point. Right. There's a liability issue. And by the way, when they asked me later on why I was sick, yeah. I was sick of being on the plane. <laughs> I was thinking. I'm serious I'm, about that. No, but I'm serious too because I was thinking if I'm trapped on this plane, I think I might have called 911 or something and called the police. You declare a medical emergency. I am something. sick of being on the plane, and a liability issue alone will force them to take you off the plane. Wow. Peter Greenberg, good to see you as you always. Got it, Thanks so much.